Welcome to this week's G.I. Joe Toy Review, where we're doing our first official 2023 G.I. Joe figure. That's out of Snake Eyes that I did on New Year's Day. Hope y'all enjoyed y'all's New Year. I wish y'all the best for 2023. Uh, so let's get going. We we're going to do one Sergeant Duke. But before we get to Duke, we're going to do our shout outs of the week. First is uh, back to the media at 48 South Loudoun Street. Here in lovely Winchester, Virginia, where you can get your Atari and Optic Corton systems, all game forum, records, CDs, DVDs, you name it, they got it. So you can definitely check them out. They also got uh, Funko Pops. And if they don't have the Funko Pops you're looking for, you can go over to Time Traveler Toys and Collectibles for other Funko Pops, uh, as well as DVDs and CDs and toys and collectibles from all kinds of toys from G.I. Joe to Transformers to He-Man, the Thundercats, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Silverhawks, California Racing little figurines I've seen. But uh, I got this this version of Duke in the Legend or the Legacy 5 25th Anniversary 5 pack. Um, it came with Snake Eyes and Gung Ho and I did the Snake Eyes and the Gung Ho recently. Last, last year, as a matter of fact. But, uh, you can definitely check them out on the archives. And, uh, you, they also have other G.I. Joe's that I've gotten from there. But, uh, let's, let's move on. And they also have comic books. And speaking of comic books, you can go to 80 Weems Lane of Four Color Fantasies and check out, uh, what they have there. With Marvel, IDW, DC, and all points in between. And then, if you leave there, if you need any kind of counseling, being this channel is all about mental health awareness, we support it here at Cobra Island. You can check out your local favorite Healing Grace Counseling Services at 80 Weems Lane, or not 80 Weems Lane, but 133 West Pescowan Street, which suite number 10, which the proprietor is Robert C. Brown. And if he's not offering what you have, you can go to Northwestern Community Services because I'm sure that they do. Um, you can check them out and check out all kinds of what they offer, all of the services they offer. And if you're in the Winchester, Clark County area, may I suggest the perfect bank of the Bank of Clark County and uh, here in Winchester and Clark County area. So definitely check them out. And... They'll be out there, a good bank to go to. And they do all kind of all kind of wonderful banking services. You can also check out uh, our national shout out of State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hopefully when you go there you can meet Jake and he's wearing his khakis. Um, but let's get on to Duke. Let's start with his file card. Which is right here where it says First Sergeant, codename Duke. File name, Hauser Conrad S. Primary military specialty, airborne infantryman, or airborne infantryman. Secondary military specialty, artillery, small arms armorer. Birthplace is St. Louis, Missouri. Grade is E5 Master Sergeant. Duke is flu was fluent in French, German, and English when he enlisted in 1967. Wait, that was 11 years before I was born. Uh, graduated top of his class in air at airborne school, Fort Benning. Opted for U.S. Army Special Language School. Specialized in Han Chinese and Southeast A Asian dialects. Went special, force, went, spe went special Forces in 1969. Worked with, worked with tribesmen in, in the boonies of South Vietnam. Ran four different Special Forces schools. Turned down a commission in 1971. Commands by winning respect. Current assignment for acting first sergeant GI Joe team. Statement. Statement after declining commission. They tell me that an officer's job is to propel others to take risks, so that the officer survives to take the blame in the event of a total catastrophe. With all due respect, sir, if that's what an officer does, I don't want any part of it. So that's a direct quote from, from Duke. So let's go ahead and take a look at his accessories. 
starting with his figure stand, upraised G.I. Joe logo, codenamed Duke on the front. He comes with his bandolier, grenade right there, brown bandolier, pouches all over it. He also comes with an assault rifle. Let's look at assault rifle. And he also carries a pistol, a pistol, which he can hold in his holster, and his field batter helmet. Nicely sculpted detail. So let's take a look at Duke with his blonde hair. You know, he's a, got Caucasian skin tone, tan shirt, blue uh, blue khakis, brown boots. He's got little gold highlights on there. Nice little holster right there. Pouches on, pouch on the front of his leg. So let's take a look at his art. He's got a gold badge. Airman's badge, I believe. U.S. flag on his arm, which is on backwards. So let's take a look at his articulation. Head could do a full 360. You, he could raise his arm to about right here. About so high. Rotate the full 360. Bends at the elbow. Rotates at the elbow. And he can rotate at the wrist. He does have the ab crush feature. His legs, he could do a complete and total split. Lift his leg up to about here. Bend at the knee. And his ankle bends. And he's got his ankle to uh, spin. Let's take a look at Duke all geared up. Here's Duke all geared up, ready for battle. Uh, Duke is the first leader of G.I. Joe in the comic book. Or not the comic book, but he's the first leader of G.I. Joe in uh, the cartoon. Starting in the five-part miniseries, The Mass Device. But he appears in uh, issue number 23 in the comic book. Where he takes over field command leadership duties from uh, Colonel Hawk, who is promoted to Brigadier General Hawk. Um, but Duke is a good leader. Everybody knows him as being the leader. In the cartoon, he's paired up in a romantic relationship with Scarlet. You know, supposedly the girl likes the macho man. But uh, he was she was paired up with Snake Eyes in the comic book, so with the mystery man. But I have to be on Team Snake Eyes. You know, because that's the stereotypical women likes the, the macho man and the mysterious man and the bad boy, so to speak. But, uh, so the G.I. Joe team's got two of them in the mysterious man and the, and the macho bad boy. But, uh, this is Duke. He's a good figure, good representation. I like this figure. He, all, he is always a, um, a good mainstay in your collection. You can't have a collection without a version of Duke. I've got four versions of Duke myself. But uh, this is Duke. One of my favorites. You know, but uh, good to add to your collection. For vintage versions of this guy, I would say check out Hooded Cobra Commander 788's channel, 4MBX257, Joe Motion Videos 82. For updated versions, you can see Joe Fan 82. Um... You can see Sanitarium Productions, you know, quite a few other channels for other input. Um, so go ahead check them out. This has been Duke. See you in the next one. And as for G.I. Joe and Cobra Island, now you know and knowing is head to battle. See you in the next one.